A wide leg pant with no side seam is an easy garment to put together and sew. The elastic waist makes it super comfortable and it looks good in many types of fabric. Hi, I'm Angela Wolf. Let me show you how easy it is to make these super flattering pants. I'm using the taper and wide leg pant pattern from Christine Johnson Patterns, but these techniques would work for any similar pattern style. These pants are easy because there's only one pattern piece to work with. Take a look at the grain line on the pattern piece. I've lined this up with the grain line on the fabric. The grain line is typically parallel to the salvage. This will mean the drape of your pants will look its best. Here's the pattern piece, all cut out with the notches and hem markings transferred. These will help us match the pieces up later on. You can see on the pattern that this is the inseam and there's no outside leg seam. Something to remember, if you're using a woven fabric that has no stretch like I am, choose a waist size that's large enough to get over your hips, otherwise it's gonna be a real struggle to pull those pants on. We're going to start with the inseam. With right sides of the fabric together, line up the notches and pin the front leg to the back leg. Line up the seam allowance with the 5 8 inch marking, back stitch, and stitch all the way from the crotch to the hem. I'm using a contrasting thread, but you choose a matching color. Finish the seam allowances. I'm gonna trim the seam allowances with pinking shears. You could use an overlock stitch, a zigzag stitch, or a serger, whatever you prefer. Look for the triple notches on the crotch seam. This is the back of the pants. Press the seam allowance in this direction. Okay, one leg down and one to go. Just follow the same steps again for the second pant leg. Once you've done that, you'll join the two legs together at the crotch seam. Have one pant leg with the wrong side facing out and one pant leg with the right side facing out. Insert the leg with the right side facing out into this pant leg. Line up both inseams and pin. You can see both of these are wrong sides out now. Line up the notches. Remember, one notch refers to the front of the pant. Place a pin, and these triple notches refer to the back. Pin all the way around this crotch seam. Next, you'll stitch along this entire crotch curve, starting at the top edge, back stitch once or twice, and stitch all the way around. When you get to the inseam, make sure both the seam allowances are folded toward the back of the pants. Again, you'll finish the seam edge just like before and then press the crotch seam to one side. A sleeve board or a full-size ironing board is perfect for this job. Next, attach the elastic to the waistline. Start by measuring the elastic around your waistline to determine how tight you want the elastic, and pin. Mark where the elastic meets. Cross the elastic pieces, lining up the markings, and zigzag stitch back and forth. Trim off the excess elastic. Now with a fabric pen, make marks on the elastic center back and center front. Line the elastic up along the wrong side of the fabric, matching up the center front seam with the center front marking on the elastic and the center back marking with the center back of the pants. Stretch the elastic and add a few pins. This will help to ease the elastic in evenly all the way around the waistband. Stitch the elastic to the fabric with a zigzag stitch of 1.4 length and 3.5 width. As you do this, make sure to stretch the elastic to match the length of the fabric. Finish your edge and then turn under the elastic toward the wrong side of the fabric. Pin at the center back seam and the center front. And let's just add one pin to each side. Line up the edge of the presser foot with the edge of the elastic and stitch the bottom edge of the elastic to the fabric with a slightly bigger zigzag stitch of 1.8 long and 4.5 wide. Make sure the elastic butts up to the fold and again, Stretch the elastic to match the length of the fabric. Stitch over the first stitch just a little and back stitch. And the waist is finished. The final step is hemming your pants. Using the hem allowance marking, press the fabric up toward the wrong side of the fabric. Tuck under the raw edge, half an inch, and press. At the machine, check to make sure the needle will just catch the folded hem allowance edge. On the right side of the fabric, 
Top stitch the hem in place with a straight stitch of 3.5. To keep that line of stitching straight, use the guides on your sewing machine. Give the hem one more pressing and the pants are finished. You have made a great pair of pants in a couple of hours. Thanks for watching. Get expert sewing instruction, free resources, and supplies for your next project by clicking the I in the top right corner of this video.